Hi friends, hope everyone is doing good. Today I am going to show you how I make karachaka curry or breadfruit curry. Um, this recipe has a lot of nostalgia attached to it because uh, while growing up when I would go to vacation in Kerala, my grandma would make this delicious curry. We used to have a huge breadfruit tree in, in my grandparents home and she would pluck these and make this delicious curries and me and my cousins would sit on the on these trees and uh, you know we would say all these stories um, we would eat raw mangoes uh, telling all these stories we would read Balrama, Pumbata and all those comic um, you know series that they would have during that time while I was growing up so um, I love this recipe um, and like I said it's very close to my heart um, though it's not very close to what my grandmother makes I have got an idea and this is how I always make getting breadfruit is also very difficult in US um, but we get it in, at times in Indian stores most of them are very sweet to taste um, and sometimes we get raw uh, one which are which have very good flavors so if anybody is interested in making this curry you can either uh, in US who are living in US you can either buy it from the Indian stores or there is in frozen section you will find um, breadfruit which is from daily delight company and that tastes really good so that's an option um, all of you can try so um, hope everyone likes this recipe um, leave your valuable comments and suggestions and I'll be back with one more such easy and delicious recipe thank you so to begin with here I have taken the breadfruit I've removed the skin and then cut it into small pieces like so make sure all the pieces are uh, somewhat of equal size though so that they cook equally and the other ingredients that you need are have cut some shallots here have taken a large tomato which have chopped into small pieces some ginger garlic green chilies and uh, also some curry leaves and the most important thing is coconut this should be like a half coconut um, i've taken here frozen coconut which is available i have taken the breadfruit in a clay pot to which i have added approximately two cups of water and then I've also added um, enough amount of salt and then I'm going to add um, a pinch of turmeric and we'll have to cook it so breadfruit is not easy to cook so it'll take a long time to cook um, so you have to cook it on a low flame for about 25 minutes or if you have a cooker you can just use the cooker uh, give it one or two whistles and it should be done but remember if you are taking frozen uh, breadfruit then it co cooks very quickly so be mindful of that so in a pan uh, now I'm adding here the coconut and on a, a medium flame I'm going to roast it until it is Mm, golden brown once it reaches this stage uh, to this i'm going to add a few shallots as well as curry leaf and continue roasting it until it becomes dark golden brown um, see the color of the coconut it should not be black or it should not be too uh, pale this is the exact color that you need dark brown in color now to this I have added uh, about half teaspoon of fennel seeds and again lightly roast it for one to two minutes. And after one or two minutes turn off the heat and set it aside to cool and then that you will grind it into a smooth paste. Now in a pan I've added some oil, coconut oil to which I've added mustard seeds and once it splutters add some curry leaves and then uh, some red chilies. Make sure the flame is low. To this I've added uh, shallots and saute it until it becomes lightly golden brown. 
once it is slightly golden brown go ahead and add your add your ginger and garlic and and continue sauteing it now once um, all the raw flavors are gone this is how it looks at this stage um, we are going to add about two teaspoons of uh, coriander powder again make sure the flame is on very low otherwise your masalas will burn and will become bitter I've added a pinch of turmeric also and then saute it lightly and again I've added here uh, about two teaspoons of uh, uh, chili powder and then the tomatoes and once the tomatoes become soft go ahead and add the boiled um, um, breadfruits into it along with the water and cook it for about uh, 10 minutes again on low flame so that all the masala incorporates I, I apologize because um, somehow I missed the clip where I added the coconut so what I did is once the breadfruit uh, becomes soft um, go ahead and add the coconut paste that we have made and close the lid and then um, cook it for about five to six minutes so all the uh, you know coconut flavor and everything gets incorporated and in the end you will add half spoon of garam masala powder see the consistency of the gravy how thick it is this is how you will need it so after two or three minutes um, you can turn off the stove and your curry is ready it's a delicious delicious curry so uh, everyone please give this a try and please leave your valuable comments and suggestions and then i'll be back again with one more such delicious recipe bye